Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My channel is Anne's Aesthetics where I bring you just anything that can bring happiness and a little bit of peace to your life today. So today we're going to be starting with a trippy mushroom painting on a planet, specifically the earth, and I'm going to show you how to do that. For our inspiration today, we went onto Pinterest and found this Kidcore mushroom for $50. It's a metal print, I guess, but I wanted to use it as inspiration for my painting, so I decided to put it on a canvas. <laughs> I'm super sorry. I have a cat, and she thinks she's the center of attention of everything. Anyways, what I'm doing here is I'm kind of just eyeballing what I see in my inspiration photo. This will make it easier when it comes to painting so I know where the colors go, I know the dimensions and the size of things. I did want to mention that this is all sped up, so right now this is two times speed, which is insane to me because I feel like I'm going so slow, but this is sped up. Um, I did that so it's more pleasing to the eye to watch, and hopefully it can be a little calming to some, but you're just going to continue drawing until you get something you feel is right. It doesn't have to be exact to mine. Make it your own for sure. So now you're going to be taking the colors Apricot, Outrageous Orange, Bright Yellow, and Diva Pink, and I'm going to be working on the background of this mushroom painting. I had a very difficult time with the background and getting the lines. It ended up being a situation where I knew I wasn't ever going to get it perfect, so I just had to give it up and, you know, accept my little imperfections, which is okay. For this step, I'm going to be taking pool blue, not cool blue, arbor green, and limeade in order to work on the earth and a little bit of the mushroom and its stem, make it those colors pop. It's going to look so good, guys and girls, whoever you are here. You're going to want to take a pretty small brush for this. It doesn't really matter what kind of brush, just whatever you're feels best in your hand and whatever you can work with well and um always make it a mess but i'm gonna work on the water part of the earth first i think yeah
once I complete the little earth section, I'm going to take the same pool blue and I'm going to use it on the mushroom as the base color before I put the little cute polka dots on it. Um, you do not have to use the same colors I do. I just wanted to keep it very similar to the inspiration photo because I did like the colors in there. I like bright. I love pink. I like trippy, hippie, vibey, anything. So that was my personal choice, but you could do this in pastels. That would look so good. Now we're gonna do the same thing, taking a small brush and we're gonna paint the green, but we're gonna leave a little bit of space because if you notice in our photo, there is a little dark green spot in part of the land. So that's what I did there as I mixed it. And then I'm gonna take Parakeet for the stem. This is a much limer, brighter green. And I really wanted that stem to pop against the other shades of green that it had below it. After that, I just did some polka dots with the back of my brush. So for our next step, I took Arbor Green and Admiral Blue, but you could really take any navy uh, blue or dark green. And I'm going to do the inner mushroom fillings part, you know, that filla or whatever they call it. That's what I'm painting right now. I'm just going back in and doing a little second layers because some of these paints are kind of thin in my opinion, but they're cheap. 50 cents, a girl loves a bargain. This is also the point where I start doing the flowers. In our reference photo, you can see we have some yellow flowers, some orange flowers, and we do have a little bit of, well, it was a gray flower, but I made mine light blue. Can't forget the drip. Now I've decided that I need some new acrylic pens because this was just giving me a heck of a time, but it was also because I was being very impatient and just wanted to get this done without letting the paint dry. So I'm just outlining everything. Um, if I see black lines in the reference photo, I am outlining it on the thing. Eventually I got so annoyed and frustrated with the pen that I switched to doing black paint. So if you don't have an acrylic marker, you can also do black paint as an outline as well. Just take a very small brush. It was at this point, I didn't know if I hated or loved the polka dot. Just really cleaning up here the black lines. Um, I'm also adding some white stars and some white highlighting to this. We are getting close to the finale. For this step, we're going to be taking some Mod Podge, Mod Podge, um, the glossy kind, and I'm going to put a decent amount on there because I love my paintings to be glossy and shiny. I did want to point out that you have to make sure you've signed your painting. Um, you know, you got to be proud and put your name on something that you took so much time to do. So be sure to get that signature or initials on there and paint that bad boy up. I will be adjusting my camera angle so you guys don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm going to improve on that, but I appreciate you guys taking the time to sit through this in my trial and error today. We are finished! Hoot, hoot. Just look at those colors. Bam. Boom. Glorious. I'm sure yours looks just as glorious. If you enjoyed this video or me, please consider subscribing. I will be trying to post multiple times each week. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Um, even though there's no one here yet, I love the one person who might see this. All right, bye.